Welcome to NGK Tech Talk. And the topic today what we're talking about is understanding the ASD relay system. Why are we talking about the ASD relay system? Because it was pretty common for the last 25 years and beyond because we have a 2022 Jeep Compass here with the ASD relay system on it. And what is the ASD relay system? Well, it's the way in which the engine management system is controlling the 12 volt output power to major components of the engine management system, such as the ignition coils, the injectors, and other components too that are deemed necessary that should have 12 volts once the PCM deems it's necessary to. Now, that gets into the criteria. So when I look at a wiring diagram and I see the ASD relay, when it's being switched on by the PCM, it sends an output voltage on a brown and yellow wire and it feeds the coils and other components as well. But the key thing is that ASD relay control pin 27, what makes the computer ground that to activate the system? Well, it's looking at the cam and the crank synchronization so it knows that the car is being cranked at once to start. If it doesn't see either one of those, the computer would not activate the relay. So when troubleshooting, especially a no start, because obviously if we don't have power to the coil and injectors, this car would never start. But we don't want to go down a false path of troubleshooting by trying to identify whether the ASD relay is at fault or the computer is at fault. Maybe it's neither. It's camera crank sensor codes that's in the system that we have to go through an effective diagnostic process by making sure that we read the codes to understand the path we need to take and also understanding the ASD relay system as well. So no matter what avenue you go down in troubleshooting a no start system on vehicles that have ASD relay set up engine management systems, always know that we don't wanna take for granted that key on engine off, you get power to the coil and then ejectors because there's a lot more logic that's going into the criteria for setting the system in an on status to feed the components that we need to feed in order to start the car. Some DTCs will be present if there is a problem with the system and DTC P1389 may be set. And that one is no ASD relay voltage at the PCM, meaning that the PCM is in full control of ground the relay, but I see here on the wiring diagram, it actually has spliced circuits back to itself called fused ASD relay sense. So it's sensing its own responsibility to provide a ground to activate the relay and then make sure that the output voltage is reaching the circuits that it's intended to. So if it's not, it's going to set that P1389. Then if there's a problem with the crank sensor, of course, you would see like a P0340. And if there is a problem with the cam sensor signal circuit, you should expect to see a P0344. So these are the different causes that can intertwine with the ASD relay operation and going about it in the right corrective action of understanding how the system work is the first step of troubleshooting effectively. I'm Philip Austin, manager of training and development for Natura North America. Thank you for watching.